I hope that uh, by now you probably all know what a rare and unique and special uh, institute this is. It is the best in the country, and it's not only because of all the hard work of Steve and Ida and the other faculty here, but it's because of you guys. And I hope that you keep moving the conversation forward, your leaders in your school, and keep the soul of journalism alive. I feel tremendously um grateful that I can start a journalism program after this experience like it would never have turned out anywhere at all where it could have had I not been here. I kind of got motivated to get into journalism because of what happened at Watergate just like our uh, movie re movie previewer and I kind of lost the fire I think along the way but this place has given me back the fire. This hasn't been exactly a staycation. <laughs> a lot more work than I had anticipated but that is a uh, a good thing. This was an experience of a lifetime for me. I mean, I don't even fly on planes. I got lost at the ball diamond. <laughs> this has been one of the most intense experiences of my not terribly short life. Um, and that I am going away completely filled up with um, information, um, ideas, inspiration, um, new technology, um, you name it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's all I can say. Thank you. For, I've never been treated so nicely as I've been treated here and so honored. I appreciate that. I've been through a lot of things, but I've never been through anything like this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a very intense two weeks, uh, very rewarding, and I have a lot to take back to my kids back in Mississippi, and I really appreciate the Reynolds Institute and everybody associated with it. The past two weeks have been very challenging, very intense, and also very rewarding. I'm mean, glad it's something that I've that I've um, been chosen to do. It definitely um, was a career-changing experience, and um, I think we will all take away so much and, and I'm just really grateful to have been a part of it, so thank you. I really believe that you will take back to your schools that habit of hard work that you know and I know it will have to take in order for our kids to be successful. So congratulations. I believe that, that God brings us together um, and he allows us to have this chance just to, to be among each other um, in this intense kind of an atmosphere uh, where we work together to get something done. Um, it's, it's, it's special. I don't think I'll ever be able to say this again. Um, the past two weeks here, I really got what I didn't pay for. Um, and that's what truly makes this a unique and rare opportunity, and I thank everybody who was involved with that. Um, most of all, what I'll take away is um, the friendships and the networking I made here. I volunteered for uh, teaching newspaper and this is going to be my first year teaching newspaper. I was going to give it my best effort and um, coming here and experiencing this, my you just improved my best effort. To Steve, I have a new teacher crush. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> Thank you for um, never asking of us what you weren't willing to give yourself. I was a student learning English, and so I was shy and I was quiet, and I read and I wrote and I watched, and that made me a really observant person. But it wasn't until I got to high school journalism that I learned how to talk to people. And I already learned how to listen, and then I learned how to write their stories. And that changed everything for me. The thing that I think I've appreciated the most is that uh, I got to look back on the journey I took and looking at a lot of you starting your programs, I cannot wait to hear what you do. And you should all have a, uh, a Rising Star Awards by the end of next year because the Reynolds, Found Reynolds Institute gives you guys a foundation that would have been, it, well, it is priceless. I've been a soldier. Um, some of you know that, I've gotten to know some of you. Um, this has really been sort of a, a boot camp experience. Um, and I have to say, I mean, unequivocally, I respect all of you for making the effort to be here, making the efforts that you have made while you're here. One thing that's really nice is just to see people passionate about something that you're passionate about. And it was just really encouraging. Since I teach all journalism, kind of in this, I felt very alone and not having a lot of other colleagues to talk to. So I just want to say thank you.
every everything that everyone has said and, and taught me, whether it was you know presenters or speakers or teachers. I mean, everyone here. Um, I know that I can take that back and and share it with my students, and for that I am eternally grateful. I want to say thank you because when I first came to the institute, it was to move my program forward. But before I got here, I lost my program. So now I have the skills to take back and not only start a new program, but institute something district-wide. I feel like I have just been like a sponge and absorbed so many wonderful things from the institute, but more importantly, have made some wonderful friends. I think that I've learned a lot more than just journalism journalism from you guys. I've talked to um, mothers um, and fathers and sisters. Teaching kids is great, but when you come here and have so many great advisors that we know that we have can work together and people that put on this institute and put together so many hours. Anita, Steve, Alan, the ladies in the back, people we don't see. It's mind-numbing to know that we've lived here for two weeks Thanks to my fellow journalism advisors, you have reignited my passion for journalism. We went online this year because our principal asked us to, but I was really nervous about it and um, wasn't really sure how to do that. Now I have a bazillion ideas. I have zero journalism background and, um, and our newspaper actually suffers because of that and, and I'm excited now, we, um, thanks to the Reynolds Institute, we have the tools. I wanted to become a damn fine journalism advisor, whether they liked it or not. You guys have given me the ammunition to go back and do just that. I really feel for me this was really a God-ordained thing. It's something that I prayed about and something that was seemed like an, un, an unachievable thing for me to, to have the opportunity to come and, and I was able to. So I'm so very thankful for all of you that made it possible and for my colleagues that made it super special too. Thank you, Alan, for the phrase, you have to see it to be it. And uh, I thank everyone um, who was involved in, in everything that we experienced this, these two weeks um, for allowing me to see it so that I could be it and that I could take that back to my students to show them so that they could see it, so that they could be it as well. When I found out when I got this letter and I told people about it, they said, wow, that's such an honor. And I said, in my normal way, now there's 30, probably 35 people who applied. Now, when I go back and people say, wow, that's such an honor, I'm gonna say, you have no idea. You really don't. Thank you guys so much.